evening, everyone. Just want to thank uh, Bradman Foundation for this honor. I'm really thrilled, very humbled. Uh, you know, I've, I've got really no words to say, I and mean, it's just been outstanding. Uh, I don't know if you know my history. I, you know, apart from cricket, I come from a, come from a very small town uh, in in Punjab, which is central Pakistan. And uh, I played most of my cricket from Bihari. It's a very small town uh, near Multan, a city of uh, Sufis, saints, and of course, in the Mamul Haq also come from there. And that's where I belong. And uh, I also had the privilege to play under the scene of uh, under Imran Khan, the Prime Minister of Pakistan at the moment. I played a uh, few years under him. My first actually major tour uh, was coming here in Australia back in 1989. Still remember it clearly. It is as coming as a teenager, first arrived at Perth, uh, played a three-day game first, and. Uh, you know, it was, it was very intimidating as always, Australia when you come here. Uh, really enjoyed my time since then. I have come several times to Australia. I live in Australia now, I'm a citizen of Australia. Uh, I'm half Pakistani, half Australian. Um, so, uh, I just want to also take the opportunity to thank Imran Khan. Uh, for being a mentor during my first uh, few years of my career. I uh, played under him, I learned a lot from him, uh, as a, being him being as a leader. And um, of course I also want to thank uh, my family, my beautiful wife, my children. They have always been there for me in, uh, in the hardship and thick and thin. I know it's been very, very tough, especially my wife. She's smiling at me right now. I know it's been... I know it's been very, very tough at times when I've been traveling, going all over the places. You have always been there to support me and back me in this. Thank you very much. Well, I moved to Australia in 2005. Uh, three beautiful children, Azan, Mariam, Myra. Uh, they all go to school here. My son has just passed HSC, just cleared his HSC. So well done, mate. Good job done. <laughs> okay, I want to uh, share a story actually, uh, a very important story of my life, uh, which I always wanted to have a platform where I can talk about it. And I wanted to thank that person uh, who's, who's here in this gathering. Uh, I'll tell the story first and then I'll probably tell you the name. That was back in the 1980s. 86, 87, uh, Australia was touring Pakistan uh, and, and, and Australia was playing a three-day game in Poeta, which is Balochistan, which is more south of uh, Pakistan. And, uh, and I was, happened to be there. I was playing some club games. I was, I was only 16, 17 years of age. And, uh, and I was struggling with my, with my shoes. You know, you, you've seen me run around with, with my bowling. I always struggled with my boots. And I wanted to get someone to help me to get those boots. And uh, somebody gave me an idea for a 70-year-old guy. Gave an idea to go, go and talk to someone in the, in the Australian camp. They might be able to help help you. So I took this fund and I went to uh, went to Serena Hotel. I still remember it very very clearly. And I went and and, and called up the coach at the time. And, uh, and and I'm so thankful to that coach. He came down from his from his room to the lobby and then he he just gave me this number and he says call up this room and that gentleman will help you and I called up that room and uh, that gentleman asked me to come to his room I went to his room, I knocked the door and he opened the door with no shirt on the 3, 6 foot 4 inch guy comes out uh, and I got really scared and I was very little then uh, and he had his big boots in his hand and he goes, there you go mate you know, and I was like, I, my English was very poor then, and I said, okay, thank you, can I sort of you know, give money or whatever, and he goes, no, I'll take it. And, um, and I took those shoes, and those shoes were way too big for me. They were about size 12, 13, or whatever. And I was little, 
And what I used to do is I used to wear three or four different socks to get into them because I didn't have anything. I was poor, I, was, I wasn't really doing that well at the time. And um, yeah, I used those shoes for a good couple of years and, uh, and that really kicked off my, my career. And I, and I came to Australia straight after that, about a year later, and I came and thanked that gentleman when I came here. And today is that gentleman is here, so I would like to thank Mr. Bob, Bob Simpson. He was the man here. And I will always, always remember you uh, because that was not only that you are a great sportsman, you are a great human being also, the way you came down for a youngster who was 16 year old, wanted a support, wanted a help, that was outstanding. So thank you to you.